for Freedom. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the all species of Radio Biafra London. My name remains Mars Jonathan Chinedu from Olu Province of Biafra Land. Today is the 20th day of August in the year of our Lord 2021. Without wasting time, we are going to go direct to the head of the directorate. Maze Chika Edosium, please, the platform is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maze Jonathan. Please, am I coming out clear? You are coming out crystal clear. Please go on. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and good night, wonderful people of Biafran. Wherever you may be at this hour, depending on your time zone, my name is Mazichika Edozim. I come from Iheoma. Iheoma is in Olu province of Biafra land. And by the grace of Elohim, I serve the indigenous people of Biafra in the Directorate of State as the head of directorate. Dear friends, I bring to you greetings from the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onyendu Mazinam de Kano. I wish to, to inform Biafrans that our leader has all of us in his prayers, praying that Elohim may strengthen each and every one of us that we may remain faithful and remain committed to this very struggle. Let me begin this evening on a very different note. And let me inform the because it is my desire this evening to speak generally to great Bia France all over the world, but particularly to the great and wonderful family members of the indigenous people of Biafra, led by Oyen de Mazenamdekano. Many of you who have gone through thick and thin, passed through great waters and fire to be where we are today, You should understand that this battle for our freedom is more spiritual than physical. We are at this very moment for the battle of the soul of IPOB. Why do I say this? Don't forget that we have gone and we have passed through this very path before. But I'm not going to that for the moment. I want to ask every member of this very great family, those of us in Biafra land, in the homeland of Biafra, and all of us in the diaspora, we must remain very watchful, very, very watchful for the enemy roll right around, looking for whom to devour. Onyendu, before this very situation that we have found ourselves in, he mandated us, he mandated the family to start the reading of the Psalms. I want to enjoin all of you to continue with that reading of the Psalms as directed by Oyindu. And I commend, therefore, those who have religiously continued in that path and wish to encourage those that may have been distracted by any reason to refocus their time and strength in this worthy program of Psalms reading, because there then 
We will not only be putting Biafra in, in the hands of heaven, in the hands of Chukwokikabiyama, we will as well be committing Oyendu in the hands of Elohim. I wish to take us a little bit back to the memory lane. Those who were here, let's say, years, two years, three years, four years, five years, six, seven to nine years this moment, that the foundation of IPOB was laid on great and enormous sacrifice from our leader. When he began this family, we heard the story from him. He became even homeless because he wanted to answer the call of heaven for the emancipation of the children of the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of light on this earth, which is the Biafran people. He denied himself every comfort, material things. He denied himself. Going further, he continued to make sacrifices, human and spiritual. And we are all aware of the loss that befell his family, that he lost his father, he lost his mother. And while we are talking about that, he lost also his in-law. Now, those who are spiritually, those who have spiritual eye will understand the game that is being played this moment. And when I said that we have passed through this path before, what I meant is that Every little opportunity the enemy has at his disposal. What they have been trying to do is to see a way to get to the heart of this movement. And you may ask yourself, what is the heart of this movement? The heart of this movement is the great Biafrans all over the world. Oyendu has created a critical mass and this critical mass is what is the trepidation of the politicians not only in Biafra land but as well in the zoo. I'm going to be very honest. I appreciate, I understand the um, displeasure, if I'll use that word, from members of this great family, I understand when they they begin to wonder, um, why are we being held back by the leadership to do what we are supposed to do, to do what is needed to be done in order to ensure that the supreme leader of this movement regains his freedom, joined, rejoins us, the family, and of course, to make sure that Biafra restoration comes sooner than later. The modus operandi of the enemy of the Biafran people is very clear to us, many of us, most of us who were here from the beginning. Now what they did in the, in the past is what they are trying to repeat. First they will try to demonize the leadership, at this time the DOS. Demonize them, discredit them, or discredit that um, institution that we need to put in place. When that is done, create a vacuum and allow um, a usurper to come in that they may set up wherever they set, they may, whoever they want to set up. They 
now have gone a little bit a notch a notch further because i remember that at the first time when we had issue with our leader being incarcerated um our legal representatives they put in all effort to make sure that Oyendu came out and in Oyendu of course came out and rejoined his family there wasn't so much of an attack at that time on our legal representative because they were kind of taken by surprise but this time they have expanded their attack not only on the leadership but as well to question the integrity of the legal representative of the indigenous people of Biafra. And by so doing, they wish to sow seed of doubt in the minds of Biafrans that they will no longer trust, they will no longer believe they will no longer listen to the leadership or to the legal representative. But thanks to Elohim, these enemies of Biafran people, these people who wish us not well, they and their co-travelers on this road of perdition they are in for a very, very great shock. I promise them. So, therefore, be friends. If our leader has made so much sacrifices for this struggle and continue to make sacrifices, now, as we are all aware that the blood of thousands and thousands of, of youths of Biafra land, blood of thousands and thousands of IPOB family members have been wasted, spilled by the Nigerian establishment. This is the structure that has been put upon the foundation that Onyendu put in place by the sacrifices, personal sacrifices that he has made. And now on top of that structure is the blood of our people crying for vengeance, the blood of our people seeking for the emancipation of those who are still alive. How then can anyone contemplate in their widest dream or widest imagination that this leadership that we need to put in place we do anything but to follow the footpath that Chukwu Kikabiyama has ordained for us to follow the teachings of the great master we do master Namdekan. how can anybody in their widest dream begin to imagine that we will abandon all the sacrifices, all the blood that has been shed, that has been spilled, that has been wasted, dreams shattered, mothers and fathers made childless, and children made fatherless and motherless. How can anybody begin to imagine that this very directorate of state that this very leadership will jettison these sacrifices and begin to do anything that does not in any manner key into our pursuit for freedom, our pursuit for the emancipation of our people. That cannot happen and that will not happen I promise you. Biafrans must, must understand that there are, when people are begin, when people are wondering, when people are asking, 
how sure are you that Oyendo is the one giving you message and the rest are even some people were asking me um, how can how can you be taking orders from from your local representative and I, I said to them if you do not belong to IPOB you will not know even those who belong to IPOB you will not know everything in the sense that there are things that our leader only knows and when he passed message to us this thing that he knows we will know it when once that message comes so we know that that message came from Oyendu and not from any other part because the legal representative will not have an idea what that is all about and those who will be holding all that they will not have an idea what this is all about but only those who are very close to our leader will understand that there is no other person that can give you that message but Mazenandi can therefore i am telling our people this evening that not only is Oyendu alive, Oyendu is well and Oyendu is in control, in complete and total control of this movement in the sense that we, the Directorate of State, we are working in accordance to his instructions and his directives. And we will continue to do that until Tukwabiyama willing sooner than later, he will rejoin his children, he will rejoin his people to continue from where he stopped or where he left before the terrible situation which we have found ourselves in. And I want to promise our enemies that they may be thinking that they have um, they have they are they are trying to disorganize this movement this movement cannot be disorganized this family of ipob core hard core ipob family members those who know those who are led by the spirit of chukwabiyama those who have followed our leader those who have learned and have drank from the water of the knowledge that came out of his mouth we cannot be we cannot let him down we cannot let the Biafrans down we cannot let the dead down and of course our enemies cannot distract us i therefore want to ask all of you to remain as faithful as you can and listen to the leadership because this leadership we are you are seeing us you're hearing us you may not be hearing our leader but this leadership is completely in the hand of Mazi Namdekano the spring leader of this very movement principal officers principal officers be you in Biafra land or in the diaspora you must buckle up. You have to buckle up. You have to divest yourself of any baggages that may hinder you from properly, properly and efficiently carrying out your duty in accordance with our fundamental principles and objectives. I want to believe that after tonight, those who may still be wobbling those who may still not be sure you have to be certain you have to be sure because i am giving you this evening the fact that we are being led by our leader even though we don't see him even though we don't hear him but to is, is merciful is is wonderful what what great things is doing may some of them we cannot make public at the moment but i assure you that oyendu will rejoin us 
even sooner than people imagined, even sooner than people thought. Everything that needs to be done is being done, whether in in the in the Biafra land and outside of Biafra land. All that we are, all that needs to be done is being done, and give us a little benefit of that. Let me close by saying that we are all soldiers in this fight for our physical and mental freedom. Yes, we are all soldiers. We are all partakers. We are all soldiers in the struggle for the reposition of our lost dignity and heritage. We are all soldiers in this struggle for the restoration of the sovereign state of Biafra. Both Biafrans, both. It is only those that persevere, those that remain steadfast and faithful to the ideals of IPOB. It is only them that we be called veterans of the struggle for the emancipation of our race, the Biafran people. The question that I leave you with this evening is, where do you want history to record your name? Where do you want history to record your name and rec history we have chosen that history will record our names on the side of the Biafran people. Oyendu gave a directive that the seat at home in Biafra land should be suspended and that directive and that suspension remain as directed by the leader of this great movement in the Mazinani country. Therefore, Biafrans and Biafra land, the state at home has already been, we appreciate without any doubt. We have seen, we have seen the desire of our people to make sacrifices, not only for our leader, for their leader, but for Biafra. We appreciate every single of your sacrifices, every single of your time and resources which you have put into this struggle. But we must not lose sight of the fact that there is a structure in place and that structure is put in place by that same person that we are showing so much love for and we must all know we must also know we must understand that that same person is still around he's there i i'm i'm i'm, I'm baffled you know the talk about um people you know idle talk if i put it that way um when onyendu is there and then people are wasting their time on um who will lead and who, lead, who, who are you going to lead? This struggle is not led by physical mind. It is led by the spirit. If you are not in the spirit, you cannot lead IPOB worldwide. It's not possible. You cannot. So now we have a leader accepted, accepted, loved by his people. Now we have him and we know he's there. He's giving the command as he should. He has not disappointed you, O oh, Biafrans. Oyendu has not disappointed you. Will you disappoint him? I say Chuko Kikabiyama forbid that any of us shall fall by the wayside. I say Chuko Kikabiyama and our ancestors will not allow that any of us shall be counted among those 
who were unable to reach the destination line, which is into a restored, independent, and sovereign Biafran nation led by Union Dumazin and the Kano. I encourage all of you to remain steadfast. I am using that word repeatedly, but I, because I know why I'm saying that. And let me state again that the, the leadership appreciate every constructive criticism that will come from the family members. Constructive criticisms. We appreciate it. It will make us to understand what our duties are, to make us to make sure that we do not lose sight of what our responsibilities to the Biafran peoples, uh, to the Biafran people are. Beg your pardon, excuse me. We must not lose sight of that fact. Therefore, those who are genuinely out of law out of concern, criticizing or preferring views and opinions to the leadership. I want to tell you that we appreciate all of that. But watch that you do not fall into those who just come on Facebook or on social media to attack for the sake of attacking. What they are trying to do is to divest us of that single authority that Oyindu has put in place. And once that is done, then they will come in for the taking. But like I said, it will not happen. It will not happen not only because we are we have sworn to to do all that is necessary we have sworn to make sacrifices that is makeable in order to ensure that this house remains as our leader want it to remain until he comes out and retakes charge physically and if, like he he was in charge before uh, this extraordinary rendition that we have found um, him in the hands of the enemy remain focused because heaven is on our side remain focused because our ancestors they are on our side Remain committed because the blood of Biafran spilled are crying for vengeance and justice. They are also on our side. And above all, the host of heaven, the almighty Chukwoke Abiyama, is propelling us to victory. And at the end of it all, we must give him glory. At the end of it all, we must praise his holy name. At the end of it all, we shall commit Biafra and, of course, um, offer it as an offering unto him, for him to take complete charge and rule over us as he ruled over our ancestors millennial and millennia years ago. I wish to say that with all the love in my heart this evening, with all the love that I can muster, I ask all of you to continue to pray for Oyendo and the I ask all of you to continue to pray for the leadership of this very struggle. 
I ask all of you to also continue to pray for yourself so that you do not fall into the temptation of labor one. Biafra is our identity. Biafra is our heritage. And Biafra is our religion. And on him to whom all honor and glory belongs, Elohim, the creator, Chuko Kabiwapumenine, it is to him alone that we bow our heads and not to man, and to him we kneel and bow our knees unto. And with that, great dear friends, I wish to say good night from me, and thank you so much. May Chukwagama bless each and every one of you.